Right, now's the time to get a whole load of zombies shuffling towards our player. So we want our zombies to come in randomly along these edges here. So let's create a function to figure out where that spawn point will be. And call that random spawn point. And then we'll return a random number between zero and three. So we do this using a combination of math floor and math dot random multiplied by four. So that will give us random int between zero and three inclusive. So why have we done that? Well, we have these four different cases. We've got an edge up here, an edge here, edge here, edge here. And so we're gonna randomly choose which edge our zombie's gonna come in from. And then we're gonna randomly distribute that zombie somewhere along that edge. So that's gonna be how we get the zombie to come in randomly somewhere along here. And we'll do the same for every single one of the edges. So we've got these four different cases. There's probably a fancy mathematical way of doing this all in one formula, but sometimes fancy ways are a little bit too hard to understand. And also they don't tend to be very performant anyway. So let's do it a nice simple way. So we haven't got this spawn point here, so let's create a variable for that. And we want to return this as a victor vector. That's an airplane joke that the victor team have embraced. is pretty cool. So we're using victor here. So we'll set it as a victor vector of zero, zero, but we'll change it in here. So for case zero, a y of zero, which is, would be all along here, is fine, but we want to change our x to be somewhere between zero and the width of our canvas. So we can do this very simply. By taking our canvas size and multiplying it by math dot random. And if we come down here and we return our spawn point like that. Let's put in a default case so our switch statement is happier, but we won't do anything with it yet. That'll handle our third case, which is this edge here. But let's just see that this works with our top edge. So if we comment out this code at the top here and we'll just have them coming in on this top edge and we'll see that happening so that you can understand exactly how all this works. Okay, so let's set our enemy radius here to 16 
we're going to create a pixie graphics because that will enable us to draw a circle and let's grab our random spawn point now and we'll set the position of our enemy to the position of that random spawn point. And now let's draw our circle. So we'll set up a fill and set it to a color which I'm going to make it red. And give it an alpha of one, so it's fully opaque. And then I'm gonna draw my circle. So I want to draw it at zero and zero because I've already set my position here. I want it to be right on this position. And so that's actually zero, zero. This is kind of like an offset from the position. And use our enemy radius. And then we just do enemy dot end fill. And then we won't see anything until we do this app dot stage dot add child enemy. And as you can see, it's drawn a random enemy along this edge. And if we refresh, there you go. So that gives us confidence that our random spawn point is working, at least for this top edge. But let's get it working for all the other cases now. So we want to handle case one, which we're going to make the right. Let's just put in some comments here. So we've done top, we'll do right now. We'll kind of do it like a CSS. Margin, top right, bottom left. So the right, well, spawn point dot x needs to be canvas size because zero is here, so canvas size is all the way over here, and that's our x, so we want it to be along this edge here. And this needs to be canvas size times math random because the y wants to be between zero and canvas size. So somewhere along here. Math random gives you a floating point or decimal number between zero and one. And so of course if it's zero, then zero times canvas size is zero. And if it's one, then one times canvas size is canvas size. So it gives us a value between zero and canvas size. Okay, so if we copy the whole of this, 
we paste it down here and this is going to be case 2 bottom well in this particular case our x wants to be between 0 and canvas size and our y wants to be canvas size and now let's set up our default and our default is the left which means that we need an x of 0 and we want our y to be between 0 and canvas size Okay, so let's now put this code back in. So now our edge is going to be one of these four different cases. So if we keep doing refresh now, we see that our zombie is randomly coming in from all different directions. 